and welcome to the welcome to the stream buck yep that's all the uh add-ons that's the sort of base layer of stuff that i use um the planes obviously change uh this is a uh, carinado cessna uh c-185 um uh, skymaster uh basically a bush plane tail dragger i'm i'm really into them now for my ga stuff so right so i'm recording now okay after they were landed or after me and roy have landed <laughs> i uh -oh. can see where the airport is Perfectly plain road, plain road over here. No, Are you, you tell me you want me to land on it. No, actually, it's a little uh, river or something. Yeah, I don't want to land in a river, Moonduck. Although this thing will take. Uh, see, the pro that's the problem with FSX, though. You can get away with that in X plane. You can sort of land in a in a shallow river, but in FSX, there's no elevation change, so it just yeah. thinks you're underwater as soon as you touch it. No, and I've got vectors on and there's traffic running down the street so I wouldn't want you to actually land on that. Well, I don't have any of that so it wouldn't matter. <laughs> <laughs> I don't have vector because I don't like vector. And I mean, I like vector but I don't like what it does to all my add-on airports. So. Right. 185 is a sky wagon. Okay. Useful uh, information there. Is that what this is? Yeah, honestly, I wouldn't. I'm not really a GA expert. Um, I just know that this was on sale for just dirt money, so I said, "Yeah, let's get this," uh, because I've discovered my love of bush flying lately. So, all right, let's descend a little bit. We don't need to be this high. Pulled away from BP. Yeah, I'm right behind you. Hello, Dan. I will tell you this, Buck. If you're, if you've never flown before and you're just starting to get into flight sim, I would recommend X Plane Eleven for a lot of reasons, but mostly because the default scenery and the default sort of atmosphere of X Plane is so much better than the default um, atmosphere of FSX. You know, now this is what you're looking at here is probably. I mean, along with all my other add-ons, and of course I have a lot of planes too. I probably spent over a thousand dollars on FSX to this point in the last probably three years, four years, and way more than that over the course of that I've been flying it. Whereas an X-plane, I've spent exactly dust, and it's fantastic. The only reason I don't fly X-plane constantly is that um, they just don't, unfortunately, don't have the planes. Like my PMDG 747s and the Airbus A320s and stuff like that, um, for my virtual flying, you know. But for GA flying, X plane is the best, you know. Ortho scenery and all that. And if you're willing to put in the work to do the scenery, it's all free. So it's just X plane is is amazing. I've been flying FSX for a very long time, so. Mm. Mm. Oh well, folks, you've no missed much. All you've got is me flying over the ocean. <laughs> I wish this beach wasn't so wind blown. I wind eroded. I'd land on it, but it's a little too bumpy. Look, yeah. my dog just sharks through the desert there. All I see is his tail sticking at the ground. Uh, I'm a little bit above it, but yeah. The one advantage you have with FSX, and it's really the only advantage for somebody who's never actually flown before. Is, is that it's very cheap. It, it, it When it goes on sale, you can literally get FSX for about $4, whereas X-Plane 11 is expensive. Um, but also remember, too, that FSX is a dead platform. It's never going to be any more than it is now, where X-Plane is constantly being updated and, and developed and everything. Um, and then you add to it the, the interesting thing that it's 32-bit, and Windows is trying to eliminate all of its app applications for 32-bit. Yeah, there's a little bit of struggle getting FSX to run after the last update. Um, you know, there's plenty of YouTube videos out there to show you how to do it, but uh, because Windows is just completely not supporting 32-bit applications anymore. So, I mean, your other option is P3D, which is just a massive amount of money. So, but people ask me, you know, well, BP, what would you, you know, if you were just starting flying tomorrow, what would you buy? What would you do? Explain. Absolutely. And I just make it work with my, like if I hadn't joined a virtual airline 12 years, I just 
fly around, you know, GA stuff. And the cool thing is there's a ton of free planes on the org, right, on the xplane.org site. And a lot of them are very, very, very good. i got to be honest. I've got the Zebo uh, 737 mod for X-Plane, and it is almost as good as the $90 PMDG 737 is for FSX. And it's completely uh, free. Miles throws up comment up. Uh, uh, prepare 3D version 4 surprised the heck out of me. Looks way worse than stock FSX, to be honest. X-Plane for the newbies, I'd say. Well, P3D version 4 is having all kinds of problems at the moment, which is why P3D version 4.1 is coming out. So, um, But I don't follow P3D because it's too expensive, and I'm not paying $400 for a sim. Are you joining us, Zerdan? Munda going up over the mountains again. Of course, think I'm thinking about landing on off. this grass over here. Hello? Nine. Yeah. Ah, right. Can you join us there, or are you just playing the field? Uh, you have already took off, so I'd, I'm just going to try something on my own. Right. Right, yeah, well, you're in that part of Africa, Mundo. Yeah. yeah you it's know just, what? I didn't realize it, that's all. We're going to land on this bit of grass over here. <laughs> Altitude. I was just asking because we all just landed anyway. So I oh. landed four times in yeah. this fight. <laughs> <laughs> That's my point. Join us because we had just landed. Yeah, Roy and Stu have landed. We've got like an hour left on the trip because of what. We're <laughs> <laughs> well, because I've been hugging the coast the whole. But you're time. not that far away, BP. See that no. mountain in front of you? That uh, I'm just gonna land here because I want to. But try to aim for. <laughs> Touchdown point between these two trees. Okay, I was getting mixed up with Madrid's uh, runway, LEMD, or airport rather. What is the, uh, GAMD then? Or GMAD? Uh, right, over the flight one or over. Right, GMAD was it? Right, let's see if we can land this corridor Adelio. between these trees. Al Mazira, yeah. Morocco. Well, we're in Morocco now. Oh, well, well, we flew out of Morocco. Come on. I want to touch down right at the base of this hill. Yep, I see him in the distance. Yeah. It'll do right here, right here, right. Very good. Very good. We'll have some of that. And <clears throat> the top just of the hill? went underground. Nope, I landed on top of the hill. Actually. Well, BB from my okay. point of view. From my point of view, he's out in the water. <laughs> <laughs> so he's just basically a submarine for you. That's the beautiful thing about bush flying is you just land wherever there's room to land. He's got to get up for a minute. Be right back. Well, there's plenty of room under the water. There, there may that may be very shallow water there, and he's just you know uh, landing on a sandbar that we can't really see. Where the hell are you, Moon Dog? Well, if you look to his left and forward, Roy, that's where we are. Is a big mountain. Oh, okay. <clears throat> You're just on the other side of that mountain where he's just landing over here. Hmm. <laughs> Uh, may as well turn my engine off then. Not fair point. If your system's badass enough, you can jump into transport fever while we're finishing. <laughs> uh, now, can I start the thing again? That's the question. Get to, let's let's get to the airport. I'm I'm having too much fun. <laughs> I yeah, I'm looking at I've got oh yeah, okay. I've got something where, somewhere to be at five so three and it's three forty five so time to go to the airport, land this. Yeah, I mean look at pure white she's sitting there asked you thinking why in the fuck did we get there? <laughs> Yeah, honestly, you know that far. 
the mountain side in front of you. Yeah. On the side of that is where we are. Yeah. That CPP just taken off behind yep. you. That's why I wanted to land on the top. Why I wanted to land on that hill so I could take off. So I guess we'll just do the one leg today because I kind of screwed. I was kind of screwing around the whole time. That's fine. Give us more to do next week. Oh well, I'm going to have a ten minute video. So I'm not. This is where we throw in the video. Go back and watch the VOD from uh, yeah, BP go, or go watch, Dog or anything. Go watch one of ours. Yeah. <laughs> That's fine. I'll throw the links in the brand mode. Or you could go... I mean, I could send you the... If you, if you, I mean, of course, it would be my, it would be me flying, not you, but... I would say I could always send you the raw data from YouTube. That's right. I'll put a link in the video. It'll be a 10 minute long video and it'll say, just get your asses over to Moondog. Miss Moondog 88 and Twitch. Bipolar Profit 2, is it? Twitch? Yeah, my Twitch is Bipolar Profit 2. Do you know how many times I've gone, I've made fun to myself a minute, and then gone back in to put it in the editor to edit it and realize that I didn't record it? Like, damn it! <sighs> and then saved, of course, so I couldn't go back and do it again. This has been the best flight. Just so you guys know, I'm doing this all the time now because this is just too much fun. <laughs> so don't worry about me. If I'm way behind you guys, I'm, I'm just back here having a blast. We're, we're, we're going to send BP off 20 minutes before we want to take off. We don't have to wait for me. <laughs> well, no, we'll send you off 20 minutes ahead. We'll take off. We'll land, and then we'll wait 20 minutes for you to... Because I've landed five times in this flight already, and I'm thinking about landing again. Because I just saw somewhere else cool. It look, looks like it would be a cool place to land. Right, I should really see you from my plane now. Like your name. Pull up, pull up, pull up. That hurt. Pilots aren't supposed to say that, Dan. Yeah, you're not supposed to fly straight into the ground either. Yeah, that's a bit of helpful advice. Well, it's called a landing, it's just not a safe landing. Yeah. It's called a landing when you're stew. <laughs> hey, I've landed pretty well there. That, that you thing. landed, the, the one time I watched you land, you did a good job. Shit you want about just planting it wherever you feel like it, but you fly just as well as everybody else does, so. I will one of these days fly just as well as anybody else. It's just practice, Dan. You know what you do? You pick an airstrip, right? And you just fly circuits around it. Touch and go, touch and go till you get comfortable with it. That's how I that's how I did it. I must have Hello. flown a thousand circuits around my little local airport. Helicopters do not fly upside down. I can't fly a helicopter at all. I don't have the right I mean I could set up my Hotas and this this other one, one for the collective and one for the rudder and all that. Or the tail uh, rotor, but I just I have no I I just don't like helicopters. Yeah, see you're thinking negatively there. You do fly really well upside down. It's just a very short trip. Uh -oh, I want to land here. No, no, just get there, BP. Just get there. <laughs> I just want to land here. It's really cool. Come on, pull out, pull out, pull out. What you should do, BP, is land on top of the mountain and roll all the way down into the airport. Yeah. That would be a cool landing, like land on the side of the mountain and just fly out and roll it down actually, into the airport. Actually getting pretty close to the airport. Yeah. Well yeah, yeah, it's just on the other side of that mountain, how we think what On the other side of the hill or the mountain? Well, that thing in front of you right now, Mundo. Okay. Fly over the ridge. Well, since we're close, we yeah. might as well do a little bit of let's do a little bit of water skiing. See, I don't know what you call that. To be with you. Well, there's a ridge here, and then there's a hill or mountain afterwards. It's the highest side the other side of that. Yeah. Okay. Highest point of direction. What's the direction of runways? Fifteen and uh, thirty-three was it? Thirty-three. Yeah. Fifteen and thirty-three. Okay. 
yeah, if you go right around the room, the mountain you'll come, you'll be a blind up to 33. Because it's literally just at the base of it. And we're skiing. Runway 33, okay. In fact, if you put yourself on autopilot and look at us, you can have a look at the gear strip. <laughs> ah, I have a good idea. Okay. Just uh, yes, yeah, so I'll do this all completely and flying. I've only thrown it on autopilot just long enough to look, and it's just been heading, not trim or nothing. Oh, there's a little strip over here. Oh, what is BP looking at? <sighs> I want to land on it. I want to land on it. <sighs> Where the hell is BP? Yeah, BP's going from the 15 sides. Well, well technically ready. that's a road, but I could definitely land on that. I'm not <laughs> going to. I'll just get to the airport. I got to... I got a whiz in the worst way. Yeah, what you should land on is a truck. See a truck driving the road, land on top of it, and while well, it still keeps driving. Unfortunately, that would require the collisions to be right. Once you get to where Moondog is, there's plenty of roads there, and they all look interesting. Yeah, especially that one right below him right now, and it goes over the hill. Yeah. And it's like, just goes straight down on the side of the hill. Mm-hmm. That'd be fun to play. Why do I not see a barrel? Because my texture is all different. What in an active sky? Yeah. Is it it's on the end of the first line of, of information? It doesn't always put it on the Like where it gives you the winds and all that all in the one line. Jesus. I like how I'm looking at the side of this, whatever the fuck it is, mountain, and there's a farm right on top of it. And somebody's farming right on top of it. On the almost sheer cliff side. Yeah, it happens. 13. 13. That's one hell of a crop then. And it's maybe a special combine that goes alongside that. Speed down. There's a runway right in front of me. That's not the right one. No, it's off the other. Yeah. But yeah, there's one there. A little bit of flaps. Slow the stick down. I'm just trying to fly across Wichita Falls from little downtown airport over to the Air Force base. See, so yeah, I don't want to fly over Air Force bases. The way I land, they'll think I'm a kamikaze pilot. I landed in a Kodiak last night at the at, um, Cold Bay, the, the rescue helicopter place. It's really just a helipad, but it's just long enough to get this thing stopped at. It was great. It was so cool. Yeah, that's, that airport isn't the one that we landed at. No. No, you're on the other side of the hill here. <laughs> yeah, Black Fox. Well, the thing is, the cool thing about this is, is obviously. If, if, if there's a farm here in, in real life, there's a farm here um, in Orbix, or at least when this was made, you know. Orbix is pretty old, been around a long time. So. Alright, I guess I should start looking for this airport, huh? Alright, I'm going to look at BP and see if I can see what I think Off to your right, BP. In fact, you're right in front of you. You should see the lights now. Yeah, I got it. I see it. I just... The view in this is not fantastic, so... But I see it. And it should be coming to view from Moondogs in about a minute. 
less than that because I can see the runway from here, but that's because I know it's there. Yeah. So I was inadvertently in a base turn without even realizing. Cool. Boy, this is pretty here. I think it's just on the other side of that couple of trees there. We've got you in front of me? Mm. Yeah, he came from all the side, yeah. Yeah, I'm on the other side of the hill. Yeah, he's slightly behind you. Yeah, I can see Moondog from your point of view now, BT, so... Yeah, you you got plenty of room. Yeah, that nice. runway... You're... Is this runway supposed to be in the water, or is my scenery just fucked up? Your scenery. Your scenery, yeah. Okay. Flap. Come on, the throttle boy, I'm making a hash of Come on, come on, just steady up. More flap. What's altitude at the runway? Thousand, you said? Better be a thousand feet, because... No, it's about 150. Yeah, look at, if you look at your window, you should go to the DP now. I don't know if that's yeah. the just bit where your runway is. Okay. To be honest, I needed no flaps for this, but I just want to come and kind of look, so. 156 feet. There goes my scenery trying to draw in what it thinks should be there. As long as I have a runway, I don't really care. <coughs> come on, get over the houses. And down we go. And we're down. Right, that's BP down there, that's looking window. Trimming a couple trees there. <laughs> I trimmed more up here. I need to change my view, but when it goes tail down, I can't see anything. Oh, uh, oh went a little too high. <clears throat> you say that's a tail dragger, isn't it? Yep. Yeah, so. Is it FSX doesn't do multiplayer tail draggers that well, or is it? So that you're right window. Doing FS. Oh, it's because it's trying to show you a different plane. It's, uh... So it's it's showing you a, a, a tricycle gear plane, whereas this is obviously not. Yeah, yeah. it's only got two wheels, big wheels at the front, and then you see three wheels, so it's. Come on. Uh, I'm a little afraid to park where you guys are because my scenery's being all weird, so I'm just going to park over here by the truck. Okay. I don't want to end up in the water and end up launching up in the air again. <laughs> I have scenery over here, so I'm just going to stop right here. But we can and there we go. Come on. Come on. Easy now. Shut Easy it out. Now. Navlite uh, beacon of avionics. Uh, well, see, now I've got a 25 minute video of this so far. Just what coming in for one. Brakes on. Flaps are up. Everything's good. All right. We'll watch, uh, let's watch Moondog! Yeah, just about to do his base at time. Yep. And Moondog's gonna have the same weird scenery that just I have. Just a few minutes. It, uh... Yeah, just a few minutes. I just need to land this. So while uh, Moondog lands, oh, I'm gonna say thanks for watching, everybody. Minutes. See you guys enjoyed yourselves. Um, you know, doing a little different of a thing now. Doing a lot of these sort of in landing where I think the cool places are. And I'm gonna keep doing that because it's just too much fun. Um, so, you know, we only got one leg done today, but that's okay. We're not in any rush. Plenty of time to finish this. If it takes, however long it takes is how long it takes. Uh, again, remember, we are raising money for the Ronald McDonald House Children's Charities. Um, they provide support, uh, transportation, and lodging for families of kids who have to be in the hospital a long time far from home. They're a great charity, definitely worth uh, a donation. The links are on all of our channels, um, so make sure you, if you're interested, in donating, you click on the link. Uh, any amount is greatly appreciated, and thank you so much. Uh, and remember, just a reminder for everybody, tomorrow, uh, right here on your favorite Twitch and YouTube channels, uh, Monkey Show Farming from Newbie Farm 19, Cavalier Roy's Newbie Farm, the version of Newbie Farm you'll be able to play on when Farm Sim 19 comes out. Uh, here comes the window. Yeah, yeah. Ooh, a little bit of a tail dip there, but you're all right. 
playing sideways for me. Yeah, you're definitely sideways. Yeah, well, um... Oh, that was a bounce. Okay, there you go. <laughs> Good job. Good job. Wasn't too guy. much of a bounce from my point of view. And my, uh, it's funny because my VFX, um, put, was putting, uh, wing vortices on your wings when you were coming down, so that's how humid it is here. It probably did it on my plane, too, but I was so I couldn't see it. So anyway, so that there you go. We're all safely down. Um, I've landed. That that was my fifth landing in this flight, which, you know, was pretty cool. So I, I had a lot of fun. Hopefully you guys did, too. Thanks, uh, Black Fox, for hanging out with us again the whole time. Thanks for everybody who's come and uh, hung out with us. Thanks to Cavalier Roy and Stuby and Mr. Moondog for flying with us and Andrew. I uh, had a lot of fun, and we'll hopefully see you guys all uh, as my, because of my scenery now, Moondog's in the water. <laughs> I got to fix that. Uh, hopefully you guys all had a good time. We'll hopefully see you all tomorrow, 2 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. You can Google your time zone to see what time that is. Don't and, forget uh, there's some late night stuff going on Well, tonight. go ahead. Do we'll your fly. thing. Do your uh, thing. Yeah, we'll, we'll be flying tonight, uh, 10 Eastern. Uh, we'll be doing a flight. Don't know where to yet because we don't know who's going to be there, so... Uh, stop in. There'll be three or four of us probably flying somewhere. And they might have bratwurst or something. Might be worth yeah, stopping in yeah. to check it out. I uh, may even join. <laughs> yep, see, it'll be plenty of interest. So. so there you go, guys. Thanks very much. I hope you guys all had fun. I know I blast. And as always, this is the Bipolar Prophet saying, see you later. See ya. See ya, everyone. Bye. As soon as I find OBS to actually turn it on.